What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are taking a look at Empire's SMP and all that has happened there in the last few weeks. Now we actually haven't gotten a new episode from a lot of the members of the server. There have been a lot of things going on within the last couple weeks such as the release of 1.18. So a lot of people have been working on new series and things like that. So videos are a bit sparse at the moment. But starting off today, we have a build from Joey Graceffa. He decided to build up the earth temple of his kingdom. And I think this thing looks great. Although it is only the front of it done. I don't know if he's planning on doing the back of it later on but the front of it does look amazing. It definitely ties in great with the other temples. Same kind of style, the cool build on top, and we can actually see the other ones here. So this was his start starter temple, the fire temple. Next up, he built the water temple over here, and then he worked on that earth temple just within the last couple weeks. Fwip has been working on a number of different things. Right here is his bartering farm. He's using all the gold that he's getting from his uh, gold farm and putting it right into this right here to get a lot of new materials. He also went and visited Jim Nite, who as of last time got infected by Scott when his magic went awry and he accidentally ended up freezing her a little bit. So of course Fwip and Jim and I are allies and Fwip wanted to get revenge on Scott. So he actually did a few different things in order to keep an eye on Scott. One of them was building up this war balloon with a salmon in it, and then he recruited Mythical Sausage to come help him actually put some TNT inside of his embassy, and also a trap in another portion of his base. He then started work on a sheep farm since Scott was the one that had the sheep farm before, and then collected up some materials to work on some projects in the near future. Besides that, Smallish Beans decided to host a game show in order to give away the crown and make somebody new the Emperor. He was a bit tired of looking around and seeing a bunch of Joel heads everywhere, so he decided to pass on the crown to someone else, but he decided to have a game show decide who gets the crown, and it would go to the so-called Weakest Empire. After a few different rounds, the crown ended up going to LD Shadow Lady, and her new rule is that everybody must eat cake. As Emperor of Empires, I have decided that from this point forward, you may only eat cake. Oh, oh no. my gosh. What? Now, obviously, this is going to be a little difficult as you can't eat cake out of your inventory. It's not stackable, so you basically have to have shulker boxes with you with it. And it's just a little annoying to eat. It also doesn't have a great saturation, so it's not going to last too long. But I think the Empires will learn to deal with it for the time being while she is Emperor. Next up, Mythical Sausage has been doing a load of work on his Empire as well. He's been working a lot on this huge castle build. He said the first two sections took him nine hours. I'm not really sure about this third section, but I'd say it's within the four or five hour range. This castle is definitely looking super epic so far though. I love all the different builds that he's doing onto it. It's not all just one continuous shape, but there's a lot of different shapes, some smoke towers, things like that going on with it, and I think it's great. Also, this time lapse really shows off the kind of design process that he went through here. Lots of little changes here and there throughout the castle, which I really like to see because it shows how much time and effort he's putting into a build like this. Now we're still not sure how much Gemini Tay has been affected by Scott's magic. She hasn't uploaded since, but she has been frozen a little bit and it's definitely worrying. Hopefully she goes to Catherine to get healed, but Scott is still keeping himself far, far away from all the other empires and civilization, and he's building up a new little place for himself out here. Now the terrain is definitely very fitting, considering that he's going to freeze anything around him anyway, as we saw with his empire, but now he's got a place full of snow and ice where he can really make it a home until he learns to control these new powers. After terraforming up this platform for the new build, he actually just stood in front of this and allowed his powers to build this whole thing up for him, and I thought that was very cool. I love this scene. It was very cool to see his use of the replay mod and actually doing this, and his powers are definitely becoming more and more of a problem that hopefully he learns to control so he doesn't hurt anybody else like Jim. Solidarity Gaming has also had some issues himself. Not only does he have cakes all over his empire, but he also has this giant cat in his empire as well, put there by Joey since uh, Solidarity actually voted Joey out of the game show because he could hear his cat in the background. Definitely a hilarious scene, but Joey is definitely offended by it and has built this cat uh, to kind of uh, give a little payback to Solidarity. In other news, Solidarity has also lost the Codfather head. 
they actually found a new portion of his base where the cod council had formed and it was discovered that he'd actually killed more cod than he had salmon i assume that was to collect all the cod heads and he always said it was in the name of cod and for the greater good of cod but the council was still not happy and decided to take away the cod father head making him no longer the cod father now he does have an option of getting the Codfather head back, but it's definitely going to take a lot of work and dedication to the greater good of Cod in order to prove his worth to the Council of Cod. He actually went out after and killed a bunch of salmon so that his salmon numbers were greater than his Cod numbers, but it still wasn't good enough because he has to do much much more to prove his loyalty. He also got a brand new head and that is the Cod Boy hat and he's going to have to wear the Codboy hat until he manages to get the Codfather head back. We'll see exactly how long this takes him throughout the season. As we've seen, LD Shadow Lady is the new Emperor of the server, and she does have the crown and has made the rule already that everybody must eat cake. But because she also created this rule, she has also decided to put a new build up in the Ocean Empire, and that is a bakery. She is now selling barrels of cake to anybody on the server who needs it, and she's only selling it for a barrel of their Emperor Empire's finest goods. Joey has already came over and given her some cocoa beans as well as a totem of undying, and we've seen other barrels such as a barrel full of mushrooms. It's really just whatever the Empire has and wants to give in order to receive some cakes, since that's all they're allowed to eat for the next little while. This is definitely the smartest rule yet on the Empire server. She has created something where she should be able to profit a decent amount off of it. We'll see exactly how much she turns in from her barrels after she is done being the Emperor. Smallish Beans has also been doing a lot of work on his base. He's done a ton of terraforming around the entire Mazalia Kingdom. Some of this was an area for the actual game show and some of it was just to make it look nicer. According to his statistics, he has placed over 41,000 moss blocks, which really makes sense once you start to look at the floor of his entire empire, as it is completely covered in moss. He's added in some new walls as well, done some terraforming of the Badlands, and then built up uh, the actual little arena where he held the game show that decided the next emperor. Besides that, other people have taken along to the new rule quite nicely, and Catherine Elizabeth decided to actually build up an entire cake building for the new rule of only eating cake. I think this building actually looks really nice. She did a little bit of the interior as well, adding in some of the dripping icing on the inside, which I think looks really good. And then she decided to actually build kind of the ingredients and animals that you need for making cakes on top and around this thing. So right on top, she built up a small little chicken and cow, which I think just look adorable. And then she also built up some uh, sugar cane and some wheat because of course you need some sugar and wheat to make cake. Definitely a nice little building for the new rule. Smallish Beans has also done a bunch of work on the interior of his base, making a huge chest room to store loads of items. He's even set it up to do some automatic sorting later on, but hasn't built that portion of it yet. The storage room looks absolutely beautiful, and it really makes me excited to see the rest of the interior of this build, which is going to take a long, long time to finish. That is basically it. As I said, not many of the empires have uploaded since our last episode, but hopefully we get some new episodes soon as they start to get their new series underway. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well so you can check out all the rest of our Minecraft content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.